Hi, I'm Lori Hyden, Garden Coach at English Gardens. In this video, I will be covering environmentally friendly gardening tips. We all know the saying, reduce, recycle, reuse. Well, this applies to the garden too. Here are some simple ways to help you get started today. Save the water. Smart watering is the name of the game. Do you know when the best time to water is? It's in the morning, the coolest part of the day. When you water in the morning, there is less evaporation. When you do hand watering, I recommend using a water wand with a shutoff valve. So when walking between plant to plant, you can conserve water by turning off the water flow. Another option to use is a drip irrigation system. It allows water to drip slowly and directly to the roots of your plants. Now a drip irrigation sounds complicated, it is not. A soaker hose is very popular among gardeners. It's simply a porous tube that weeps water directly to the roots of your plant. It's simple to install, just snake around the, the base of your plants and connect to your water faucet. I recommend adding a water timer to control timing of your watering. Now the great thing about the soaker hose is there is very little water evaporation so you can serve water. Now if you are watering hanging baskets or containers, Proven Winner has this self-contained kit called WaterWise. Everything you need is in this little kit. You can water up to 10 hanging baskets or 30 feet of a landscape bed. It is very easy to install. I installed one myself. So once it's installed, add a recommended water timer, timer and let the watering begin. Have you ever thought about a rainwater catchment system? That's a fancy name for a rain barrel. A rain barrel allows you to collect rainwater runoff from your roof. You just attach it to uh, one of your downspouts and collect water from your roof. You can then store it and use it at a later time. The best thing about using a rain barrel, it is free water. Bring on the beneficial insects. Beneficial insects are so important to have Roman in your garden. They take care of those pesky insects while creating an overall beneficial ecosystem. Ladybugs are my favorite. Ladybugs prey on those sap feeding insects like aphids. A single ladybug can eat up to 50 aphids a day. Do you know that ladybugs can live up to two to three years? They do overwinter, and if you're lucky like me, you may have some ladybug larvae crawling around your plants. Now the great thing about ladybug larvae, they look like little tiny alligators, they eat aphids also. Nematodes. Beneficial nematodes are natural and effective way of controlling soil dwelling and wood boring insects without using harsh chemicals. They are microscopic worms that occur naturally in the soil. They prey on and attack over 230 pests in your lawn or garden beds. They are safe to use around pets and people, other beneficial insects, and they do not harm earthworms. I've been using nematodes on my lawn for over 14 years to control my grub population. So consider nematodes today. Praying mantis, one of the coolest insects. Pray, a praying mantis is so hungry, it will eat anything that it can overcome. A single egg casing can hatch 50 to 200 mantises. Now praying mantis don't overwinter well in our area, but the egg cases do. So you could have praying mantis this year and also next year to take care of your pest. Give solar a try. Solar lights are all the rage. Solar lights collect energy from the sun during the day and provide illumination at night. You can use solar lights on a pathway, 
your deck up lighting on for a special tree you could highlight a statue or a bird bath so give solar lights a try welcome to pollinators pollinators like bees butterflies and hummingbirds are crucial to our environment i welcome all pollinators into my garden how do i bring pollinators in and keep them well let me tell you I provide food, shelter, water, and I keep them safe. Food source is very crucial for pollinators. They need rich nectar flowers throughout the entire season. So plant a succession of, of flowering plants, including annuals, perennials, shrubs, or trees to provide food for the pollinators. My go-to plants are for hummingbirds, I love cigar plant. It attracts the hummingbirds. I had one yesterday feeding on this wonderful plant. Another annual is blue salvia. It's a magnet for hummingbirds. I also have a perennial climbing vine uh, called honeysuckle. Hummingbirds love honeysuckle. To attract bees to your garden, I call bees my girls. So to attract my girls, I have my go-to plants. I have nepeta, also known as cat mint. It's blooming right now, and the bees are loving it. I also provide a perennial called bee balm and alliums and a great annual zinnias. For my butterflies, I also have favorites. I always plant this annual called lantana. Butterflies love it. I put in containers and in my landscape beds. I can never have enough cone flowers blooming because my butterflies love them. And also alliums. I have alliums blooming all season long. When it comes to butterflies, you need some host larval plants like milkweed. This attracts the monarchs, not only it provides a good food source for the adult butterflies, it's a host plant for the caterpillars. If you want to attract swallowtails, provide some herbs. Dill, rue, and fennel are great choices. So welcome the pollinators to your yard. Choose the right plant. Consider all aspects of your garden when choosing plants sunlight, moisture, soil quality, and drainage. A plant put in the right location will thrive without requiring a lot of attention. A plant put in the wrong location may get stressed and may be more prone to disease and pests. An example I have is a hot sunny area at the end of my driveway. It is a full sun area very hot. I don't like watering that area a lot and I have some deer roaming around. So I chose the right plants. Nepeta, alliums, and dwarf shasta daisies. Now this area requires very little attention except in the springtime a little weeding and adding mulch. So it's all about choosing the right plants. If you need any assistance, stop by any of our locations and talk to our nursery associates. They can help you pick the right plants. I'm Coach Lori, helping to make your life beautiful by making gardening easier.